luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way The musicians are out. And the music is actually quite nice, especially for a Sunday. But Cafe du Monde is actually a little crowded, so we got our beignets and we're gonna go find a place in the park to sit. It's a beautiful Sunday. What do you think, baby girl? You happy you finally got your beignets? Like actual beignets from New Orleans. And I got pins. And you got pins. Let's see them. Oh, those are cool. You better not get powdered sugar all over your bat coat. I didn't have a touch on me last year. What did you say last year? That if you can eat powdered beignets? You must, without getting any on you, you must be a witch. I you know what? And I didn't have anything on me, so. You know, proof is in the pudding? Pudding! Or in the powdered sugar, I guess you would say. I got it on me and I haven't even opened them yet. Just from... Just from here. like walking, just from being in New Orleans, you just get... Just from sitting at the bench. Right? It's like, it's, it's in the air. Powdered sugar. Oh All right, God. Jessica. Oh my God. So last time when we came here, <laughs> we sat at the table, at the, um, the dine-in table, I guess you'd say. And, uh, you know, they come to you on a plate with a little powdered sugar on top. So this time, you know, they just hand you your order in a bag. And I don't see anything but powdered sugar in here. I it is nothing see that. but powdered sugar. And I don't think I'm going to survive the test today. Oh, man. I can't even see the beignet for the powdered sugar. Oh, my gosh. I'm about to get messy. Oh, mm -hmm. Let's check out the bag, though. How cool is that? You see that? I wish I had a fork. I think it's been over a year since the last time that we've had this. Well, I mean, literally the last time that we were in New Orleans. And Jessica is attempting. You are absolutely beautiful. How is it? It's sugary. It stuck to my teeth. Oh no! <laughs> you're a powdered bat. Like a fruit bat, but you're a powdered bat. One, One big bite. Perfect. Is it as good as you remember? More hairy this time. <laughs> Let's see this thing. Look at all that powdered sugar. Yeah, I'm gonna call you my little powdered bat from now on. They're very messy. I think last time we were here in the summer, I was wearing a long black dress. I had no problem eating these without getting any sugar on me, but now it's technically winter it's a sunny day we're outside it's a little bit windy before we're inside sometimes your uh, surrounding environment makes all the difference i think but it's worth it i can just see it fall mm. i love you so much I'm gonna go ahead and call this the great dusting. Jessica, you are covered. I feel like we made the same exact mistake that we did last time. We ordered too many beignets. Jessica couldn't finish her bag. This one is mine. And like, <laughs> I'm nervous. Let me see inside your bag. Oh, inside the bag? Where are my fingers already? I know. Look at all that sugar. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, heavens. It's 
like falling snow. Is that what it looked like when I ate one? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's a winter wonderland in New Orleans. Made of powdered sugar from Cafe Du Monde. This is good, this is making me happy. It's a bright, albeit bright sunny day, but we got some jazz playing in the back, street jazz. Sitting in a beautiful square in one of the most hauntingly beautiful cities, eating beignets with my baby, who's dressed like a bat. The great powdered bat. So, <laughs> Michael's kind of come up with a new method of eating a beignet. I think we're gonna call it the bend and hover. Is it, it working? Works. I think so. Unless I have like a, a current of wind blowing my way. I feel like I'm performing <laughs> some sort of weird magic trick. Street art. <laughs> I love you. Was that successful? That was very successful. And I got sugar fingers. I love you too. <laughs> is it working? It is. I, so my theory is this. The more I squat. Bend like a crab and eat a beignet. <laughs> the more I squat, the less the powdered sugar falls and freezes everywhere. That's the beignet challenge. Right? I refuse to get dusted. Right off the bat, there's a little bowl here with coffin nails. A bag of coffin nails that says place at the four corners of your property for protection. Carry in a red bag or place in a cursed bottle. Or use in all manner of protection, warding and reversing and hexing spells. That's really cool. Over here in the corner, you can create your own custom mojo bags. Get your mojo working. Different colored bags all mean different things. That's really neat. It is all beautiful. We have a collection of railroad spikes. Well, we have one from the Bonnie and Clyde town in Louisiana. They got a nice little collection of skeleton keys. Check this out. It is a jar. It says the Rose of Jericho. Place in a bowl of water and refill every Sunday at 3 p.m. As it blooms, prosperity will come. Neat. One of my favorite things about the shop, Hex Old World Witchery here, is this altar. It's a witch's altar. Filled with pictures and messages to departed loved ones. The different pictures of celebrities who have passed on. Very neat. appropriate right in front of you there's a sign that says do not enter I heard about this place don't think it's open right now but we can just walk around and see the spooky decorations in Orlando Florida they have something called Mortem Manor which is the year-round haunted house here is mortuary presents psycho asylum home for the holidays website the mortuary Dot net. 
they're closed right now, but this place is looking rather festive. I think, I mean, I would love to see the inside, but the exterior's done really well. The snow looks amazing. Actually, forgetting that there's no snow here, thought at first it might have been real snow. And then I was like, wait, no, that's not right. Because it's, it's foam, spray foam, but it's cool. It actually looks good. And I'm just admiring it. I wish it was open. The snow Jessica was pointing out is right here, which is pretty funny that, you know, it's fake, but it does look absolutely real. And it's a lot. Yeah, it looks cold. I love that they have gargoyles perched on the entrance to this place. And parked underneath this tree is an old school bus that says State Asylum on it. And you ready for this? The best part about it? All of this is right next to a beautiful beautiful New Orleans cemetery. It doesn't get any creepier than this. Is there anything on the side of the house? Yeah, there's some cool things. I didn't realize though, uh, that says state asylum for the criminally insane. And I just realized it was parked behind us. Right here on the corner, as you turn to walk to the side of the building, there's a snow covered griffin. But there's a little walkway that you can actually walk up and look into the carport. Now, I could be wrong, but I do believe that this building at one point used to be a funeral home. Oh man, just look at that. There's a poster here that says, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. It looks like we just missed it because it says he's coming home for the holidays, November 28th through January 2nd. We really just missed it. How cool would that have been to go inside this place? It's a little hard to see, but they still have the creepy Santa Claus here, just patiently waiting. And if you look up, uh, out zoom here, there is somebody hanging right there. What do you think, Jessica? You want to move in? Yeah. This will be our home in New Orleans. On a house on the main floor, and I live on the second floor. That's how it's going to work. Here's a shot of the back of the building. Like we said, it's pretty much connected right to a cemetery. This is perfect. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Cool. This place looks like it would be pretty darn amazing. Maybe next year for Halloween, we might find ourselves swinging back through New Orleans. And if we do, we gotta check out this place. They even have a balcony up there. Ooh, Very neat. Balcony. Not really sure how well you can read the sign because of the sun, but the fence says, New Orleans Katrina Memorial. Nestled between what appears to be four different cemeteries stands the Charity Hospital Cemetery. And I don't know about you guys, but it kind of reminds me of like the gates to Arkham. There's a stone here that says this memorial honors those who perished as a result of Hurricane Katrina, which struck on August 29, 2005. This memorial provides a final resting place for those whose bodies remain unidentified and unclaimed. May they have eternal peace. There's another stone over here that tells you the history of the cemetery. And it used to be known as Potter's Field, which was historically where they would come to bury unclaimed bodies uh, throughout time, especially during the uh, epidemics of yellow fever and during influenza. And then it was purchased and now it's being used um, for the Katrina victims. 
and uh, it says it's been known amongst New Orleans as the famous cities of the dead. When Hurricane Katrina hit on August 29, 2005, the levees broke, and as a result, over 80% of the city of New Orleans was covered with water. Even though we're right next to a very busy road, this memorial is actually really, really peaceful. It's one of many throughout the city. And what I find very interesting, if we were to get an aerial shot looking down at where we're standing, the walkway is in the shape of a hurricane itself. In the center, the eye of the storm, if you will, this is what it would look like looking down at it. It's very well done. It kind of reminds me of the memorials in Washington, D.C. It says more than 1,100 persons in New Orleans and the surrounding communities perished in the wake of Hurricane Katrina. An unprecedented effort to recover and identify the dead was carried out, yet scores remained unidentified or unclaimed. And here's the other side of the monument. It talks more about Hurricane Katrina and the efforts that the community took. Surrounding the hurricane walkway are six mausoleums holding the remains of those who have been unidentified. There's three of them right there. And there are the other three. It's very quiet here. When Jessica and I came through New Orleans about a year ago, I really wanted to stop and check this place out. Ran out of time. It's a very small park on the outskirts of town. Very quick to just come by and pay our respects. Wherever I come, bad luck is coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck is dead and stays. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's all.